Okay, we got a fish, guys. Got a fish. Right. Yes, I'm gonna fish on this one. I think left already. So, two fish back to back. This also feels like a catfish, honestly. This we got a fish. We got a fish, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dilma Fishing. Today we're gonna be fishing for catfish and carp, guys. And we're gonna be doing it from the bank. We're gonna be fishing all night. So we're gonna be fishing more than 12 hours. And I'll be showing you every single bait I'm gonna be using and every single rig that I'm gonna be using to catch this fish. With that said, let's get set up and let's get into the video. All right guys, one of the baits I'm gonna be using is actually yellow chicken. And this is how I prepare it. I just got my chicken breast here and I use scissors just to cut through it. Press there. And I cut it into chunks that I can put on the hook. Different sizes too. Sometimes I cut big chunks, sometimes smaller chunks. So, okay, that was a big bait right there big bait let's cut into little chunks like that all right so there we go you got the great value from walmart guys can't beat that price so he's gonna add the whole package into this chicken right here there you go that's one of our baits for tonight little chicken really good bait the only downside is that it gets really sticky on your fingers but you got Rinse off your hands every time you rebait, but that's one of the baits. Second bait we got going on here is just worms, night crawlers, and red wigglers. Uh, we're gonna be using the worms as well to catch some uh, bluegills for cut bait, and now we're gonna catch a few bluegills to use as cut bait as well. So, all right, guys, so this is the other bait that we're gonna be using. I just cut this with a small hook, just a tiny bluegill. We're gonna use it as cut bait. So, first, we'll make sure it's dead. And then we're gonna cut it into chunks. All right, guys. So we got a bluegill here. Uh, we got three different baits: the head piece, the body piece, and the tail piece. Go ahead and use that. So we got a bunch of other bluegills that we're gonna be using. I already have it on my bait bucket over there. I don't know if you can see it over there. I got my bait bucket over there. So we got some more bait for later tonight. And uh, we're gonna have and put some of that bluegill on one of these rods. All right, guys. Next bait I brought is pretty much carp bait but you can catch catfish on it and I'm gonna show you really really fast how you make it this is how long it takes watch this so bread comes right all right these are these are oats these are old-fashioned oats so fast you can make this bait just dump that in there all right now next you need a whole can of corn come down in there and last but not least whole package of yellow All right now just mix that up See, it's a little dry right now but you can add some more water to make it a little better but I like to start with it really dry because sometimes I add too much water to it well, there you go that's it. That's another bait that we're gonna be using tonight. All right, let me show you the rig we're gonna be using and I'm show you how to tie it really, really quick. This is one of the rigs we're gonna be using. So this is my main line here and I'm gonna fit an egg sinker into the main line. Just like that, all right? Then I'm gonna fit a bead. Just a little tiny bead. Now, over here, I got a swivel. And I got a leader attached to it with a snail circle hook at the end. Okay, this is a 3 out hook. So I'm gonna tie my main line on the other side of the swivel. Really simple. This is called a Carolina rig, if you don't know. Now, I'd like to use a uni knot for this knot because I want it to be really strong. So I usually do use a union knot. If you don't know how to tie that knot, I got a video on my channel that you can check out with all the knots that you need to know to be 
a very fisherman. Okay. Let's make sure the knot is not failing. I'm gonna clean that up. I leave a little tag there because it's not really crucial to be that clean on that side. And there we go. We got a Carolina rig straight to a hook. All right, guys, this neck rig I'm gonna be using. This is the car rig that I usually use. This is called a metal feeder weight. This is half an ounce weight, and this holds the pack bait that I just showed you on the baits, the car bait. You're gonna pack this, and then you have a leader that comes pretty tight. I bought this already tight, guys, and has a carp hook. But this tiny hook can definitely catch you a catfish as well. Uh, the way it's set up is in a hair rig. Uh, a hair rig helps you for the fish to actually go for the bait and then get hooked after the bait is on its mouth. Uh, a lot of people that fish for carp know how to tie a hair rig. Uh, if you don't know how to tie a hair rig, just look it up online. On YouTube, there's a lot of videos how to do it. And this is some fake corn that the fish is going to go for. We also got the real corn here on on the on the on the weight so the way this works is you tie you pack your, your bait against it and then this sits down the bait spreads out the fishes come eating all the bait and eventually finds your hook and then you catch a fish so this is the other rig that we're gonna be using tonight just showing you this is really effective for carp and catfish as well guys I got a balloon here and I put one of these these glowing dark things inside of it. So I don't know if you can see. Put one of these in there. Put one of these inside of here, turn it on. Now I got blow up the balloon just a little bit. And this is my line. I'm gonna tie the balloon. Got glow in the dark bobber. So guys, okay, so we're gonna bait the first rod. I'm gonna use chicken breast right there. So make sure that hook's exposed and go ahead and cast it out. Alright guys, so I'm going to use the headpiece here, I'm going to hook it right there, alright, and make sure there's no scales on the tip of the hook. A lot of people like the headpiece and a lot of people hate the headpiece. I personally have no feelings about it, it's more about what kind of fish I'm using. Um, but yeah, we got the headpiece out there now, let's see what it does. Alright guys, this is how it looks right here. This is the bait packed into the weight, the, the, the metal uh, feeding weight. And some people like to grab the hook and just put it on the bait right here. But I don't like to do that because it seems like the hook sometimes gets tangled into the little ribs of the weight. So the lid is not long, so my hook is going to be close to all this bait. So it should be fine. Go ahead and cast this. So when I'm fishing for carp in this type of setup, I like to have my drag all the way down so the carp doesn't take my rod into the water. So yeah, I, I have it really, really low, just like that. All right guys, if you're using a lot of rods, these are crucial right here. This can be annoying sometimes, but they help to detect the bites. Uh, and I got a few that actually have a light. I ordered this on uh, Tumi, I think. And you can have a light at night to be able to see you, the tip of your rods and if you get any bites. So we're going to be using this on a rod since we're going to be using a lot of rods today. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Come on, stick, 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 stick. No, oh, man. Solo some little bites. No, se pegó, se pegó, se pegó. Alright. Alright, guys. We got a fish. We got a fish and a little rod. Yep. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. This is on the little rod, guys. First fish of the day. 
it's definitely pulling so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it slow so I got it on the small rod here swimming this way it's not a giant but it's definitely decent definitely decent it feels gigantic on this little rod though it's swimming to shore but I can feel the head shakes I think this was the bluegill head so it took the bluegill head oh oh <laughs> Jesus here it comes here it comes here it comes oh now he knows his hook for real all right Jesus this little rod this fish feels gigantic I know it's not that big but it does feel big there we go first fish of the day guys look at, look at that one on the on the blue head on the blue head on the bluegill head I'm sorry I can't even talk here we go for fish of the day go ahead and release this fish yes tiny I mean it's not it's not gigantic but it's definitely a decent one channel cat probably like two pounds uh, look at that circle hook right on the side of the mouth so I'm gonna have to take that hook out take that hook out real quick oop, oop. no you start tangling me up man see mm. the hook is out he splash crappy stuff all over me let me show him off All right, guys. So that's the first fish right there, guys, of the day. So it's one catfish, no carp yet. Let me see. Okay, that's a better look right there. Like I said, it's probably like two pounds, maybe two and a half pounds. Uh, went for the bluegill head, and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and release this fish. There he goes. All right, guys. So we got one fish so far. Uh, that fish be on the cut bait. That was the head of a bluegill. Uh, not a gigantic fish, but definitely a decent one. Um, I'm really hoping to catch something bigger tonight. If you have, I'm almost positive we will. But so far, so good. I'm not, I'm not freaking out yet, but definitely catching that fish will bring my confidence a little bit up. So I'll get back at you when we catch another one. We got a, we're getting bites of some sore, but I think, I think it's this rod, guys. Yeah, I think we got a fish. Yeah, we got a fish. Definitely, it's not a big fish though, but we definitely got a fish. And I'm not sure if I'm tangled up with my other rod. Definitely tangled up on my other rod. Got there we go. Yeah. There we go guys. I told you the carp bait catches catfish as well. It's not a big one this time. Uh, but definitely a fish. I'm gonna go ahead and uh release this fish yes fish number two right there uh, he wasn't pulling as hard as I thought uh, he went for the car bait right there so you guys see for a second I thought it was tangled up with my other rod but it doesn't seem like it was so I don't know what was happening honestly so, there you go that is the second fish of the day Oh, oh, we got another fish. I gotta release this fish. I think we got another fish. That was a good pull right there. All right, so we took the hook out. There you go. I think we got another fish. Go, fish. Go, go, go. Come on, go. Oh, Lord. Okay, you're going the wrong way. It's okay. All right, let's check this other rod. 
that one got a fish on this one. I think left already. So two fish back to back. This also feels like a catfish, honestly. This is the fish number three. Fish number three, guys. It doesn't feel big either, but it's definitely pulling a little bit. It has head shakes, definitely head shakes. So these fish were swimming together, honestly, because they got caught minutes away from each other. I'm telling you, that carp bait, man, that carp bait be catching catfish. Let me see it. Let me see you. Let me see you. Oh, it's not ready yet. I don't want to push him. This one's a little better, I think. Yeah, this is slightly better. Almost the exact same size. Maybe a little more feisty. Honestly, maybe a little more feisty. There you go, guys. That's fish number three. Good eating size, honestly. Went for that carp bait. Like I was telling you guys, it's carp bait, man. You gotta get on it. You can catch carp and catfish. Come on, man. Gotta, gotta get this hook out real quick. I'll show you this tiny hook. This catfish love this freaking corn, man. So it was a group of catfish. I guess they were swimming together or something. Relax, man. Almost got you out. There you go. Look at how small that hook is. And this hook can catch some gigantic catfish, guys. All right. Gonna help this guy out. Get back in the water. But before, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. That's fish number three, guys. And we haven't even got to the night we're gonna be here all night so that's what i'm talking about right there go ahead and toss him back up why are they going the wrong way come on man you have enough water get out of here and there he goes we got a fish we got a fish guys oh no he let go he let go Damn, we almost had it hooked. The hook didn't penetrate. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened, guys. You guys saw that bite. Probably let go. He let go of the bait. You know, we hooked this bait. That was a good bite, too. It's a good bite. You know, send it back out the same spot I'm gonna rehook it and turn it back out in the same area okay we got a fish guys got a fish all right guys so we got a fish here it's coming in it's not gigantic it's decent though I was on the phone with my friend I don't know if he's gonna come he might come and fish with us for a little bit, I'm not sure. I was just talking to him. But we got a fourth fish of the day. And it doesn't feel like it's tangled up on my other lines, which is great. It's swimming this way. It's trying to get tangled up on this line. I'm gonna keep it low. Oh, 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 there he goes. Yeah, that was kind of risky right there. That was kind of risky. Decent fish though, this one was, oh, it's decent, it's fighting decently. It's fighting this one. Let me see. Let me see. All right, just just a really feisty one, guys. Really feisty one. Oh lord, he has the best fish of the day, though. The biggest one. There we go. Yeah, that is the biggest fish of the day, and he bit on the on the blue head, on the on the bluegill head. He's trying to get back. Oh, my head is over there. Might reuse it. Let me get this fish out of the hook really quick. Let's see. Let me get the hook out, buddy. Fish number four. That circle hook right on the side of the mouth. There we go. Got the hook out. It's free to go. We still got our head, our bait. It's not fresh. But, oh man, this fish is feisty. Feisty, feisty fish. Alright, let me show you this fish, guys. There we go. 
nice fish man that's fish number four they're getting bigger we're going the right way I'm gonna release him let him go he's ready to go he's super feisty i think that's a female because he's too feisty come on man you were doing all that now you want to go time to go one way go the other way there he goes nice all right guys so it's it's nine o'clock right now and we got our rods here i'm about to put some lights on the tip of my rods so i can see the bites all right guys this is what we got going on you guys can see i got my little lights on my bells i got my other two rods over there and i got an extra one rod over here i'm gonna set up a rod with a bobber but right now this is what we got going on this is the rods right there and those indicators will let us know if we got a bite or not so we haven't i mean it just went dark but we haven't got a fish yet hopefully that changes in a minute here so let's just keep fishing right, man i think we got a fish here we got a fish let's see yeah i think we do oh definitely we do we got a fish Some carp bait here I'm trying to, I don't feel big though. It feels weird. It's like a big head shake and then nothing. I don't think it really like it's hooked. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think I saw it. It's a catfish. It's a catfish. It's fire so weird. It might be not hooked on the mouth. Oh, yeah, he is hooked in the mouth. He's fighting really weird. Oh, that's this a fish. This one fish. Feisty one though. Yes. Definitely upset. This fish, guys. This is fish number five. Very, very, very upset by now. So I'm gonna try to get him off the hook real quick before he plays a mess. I'll show you the fish, guys, better on my other camera. But uh, got him the carp bait uh, he's not happy he's not happy all right guys here we go uh number five decent fish probably like four pounds nice healthy fish uh he felt kind of weird though it was kind of like pulling kind of different i for a second i thought he was not hooked on the mouth but he was so he went for the carp bait and it's a nice fish i'm gonna let him go though Oh my god, it's flash at me. Alright, buddy. He's gone. Check this out, guys. My bobber's moving around a weird way. It's kind of freaking now. Let's see if we got a fish on it. Yeah, we do. We got a fish on it. We got a fish. That didn't take long.
just got a fish, man. What kind of fish getting scared? That's on the bobber. Here we go, guys. Got a fish on the handmade bobber we did. I saw my bobber is going crazy for a second there. So it actually worked out pretty well. And release this fish and show you what I'm using right now. Because it hooks out. <laughs> it's loud. Alright guys, so I think this is fish, fish number six I think of today. Cut that on the balloon technique right there with the little uh, light up thing inside so it was really close to shore actually I'm not really this fish right now I'm go back. but uh yeah so that didn't took long so I'm gonna try that again <laughs> 